Hello, I'm Trevor Boria. Everything exploded. We're gonna automate greenhouse filtration today and some other stuff too. This is the simplest circuit I can build to turn things on and off automatically. And we're gonna go through it right now. It starts with the obligatory transformer, which we're gonna turn on and set to 1200 watts because it's already set to that for some reason. We have a logic reader, compare unit, batch writer, memory unit. That's the main power in, but it'll also need power in the whole circuit, which is why we have that transformer. I'm gonna wire it up, we're gonna take a look at it, then we're gonna program it. It'll be fun. The memory unit does not need power, but I like the way it looks looped around like that. I do a lot of stuff just cause I like it. And we've tied into both ports at the back of the filtration unit, cause logic and power. This up here is our gas sensor. It's not in the best place, but for what we're doing in this room, this is fine. Logic reader in is gonna be the gas sensor. Variation is going to be the oxygen ratio, but it's measured as a decimal point instead of a percentage, which will be important later. Compare unit in's logic reader. The out is set to greater. Input two is logic memory. Batch writer in's logic compare. The out type will be the filtration, and variation should just be on. Now for the memory unit, it depends on what oxygen ratio you want to have inside your greenhouse i'm at 71 uh that's because i manually dicked around with it forever we want it set to i don't know 70 70 seems fine right that'll be like 30 carbon dioxide plants plants are good with that i guess i could look it up so we're gonna use our labeler and set our memory to 0 0.70 <laughs> decimal place right for right now we're popping in an oxygen and a nitrogen filter although we're not monitoring the nitrogen it'll just get pulled out with the oxygen i'm fine with that if you just put oxygen filters in you can hook up your filtered output to a tank and have infinite oxygen supply i didn't do that i live on mars i don't care and now we're gonna turn it all on that green light will come on oxygen will start being filtered out nothing will blow up on 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 <laughs> yeah and if we check the logic reader this is what i mean by decimal place instead of fraction again you just move the decimal place over and you have the number that y you want i mean, you'll figure it out when this number gets to 69 that green light should turn off i have nothing to do so i'm just gonna sit here and watch it and then we're gonna go do something else and the green light turns off awesome we're gonna go set this same thing up outside in a little building to harvest carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere this setup's gonna pull the carbon dioxide out of the air put it in that tank send it through this pipe into the greenhouse where there's gonna be a vent we're gonna set up in a minute i didn't have a lot of space so i just stuck the circuit here i don't care we're never gonna look at it again after this i hope we don't have a gas sensor. We're just going to read the pressure of this tank to turn off the filtration. Is my plan. So the logic reader in is that tank, which is called structure tank small insulated. Out variation is pressure. Stuff's not quite in the same order, but that's fine. Batch writer in will be logic compare because that's what we're utilizing today. Out types filtration again. Out variation is on. The compare unit, one is still the logic reader. Out, we want less this time. And then two is still the memory unit. For the memory unit, the logic reader doesn't read in megapascals, it uses kilopascals. So if you want 30 megapascals, again, move the decimal place and you have 30,000 kilopascals. Why so low, you might be asking. I don't want it to explode. <laughs> I don't want anything else to blow up today. On. 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 Me memory units are always on. They're, they're memory units. Green light is on. I'm not going to stand here till that gets to 30,000 kilopascals. That's going to take all day. Um, We're just going to assume it's going to work and move on with our lives. So this tank goes through this pipe up to this valve, which we've set to 6,000 kilopascals or 6 megapascals. And it goes down around here and pressurizes this tank which is very low right now for some reason i don't know why we had it off this whole time 
and it keeps this line pressurized. And the only reason for this tank is because we don't want 30,000 kilopascals to be at the vent we're about to look at. So inside our greenhouse, we have this vent. <laughs> that pipe is the end of what we just built outside. And gas sensor. Should be further away. Works fine. Just means that the vents will cycle a little bit. But I'm okay with that because they don't make any noise and I don't care. This is the same circuit we just set up twice. It's wired differently because I get bored. It's reading the pressure from the gas sensor and it's comparing it to the memory unit which is set to 60 kilopascals and the batch writer is just controlling the vent. So as soon as that sensor reads less than 60 kilopascals in here, these vents turn on. And that is the greenhouse ventilation taken care of for a second time in as many days. Why did the power just turn off? Oh, because it's nighttime. <laughs> cool, cool, good. I like what we're doing here. I don't have a lot of cool stuff to show you before we end the video because everything blew up, man. I spent the whole day trying to do IC10 coding to do all this. Clearly didn't work. The ice crusher now creates gas when you're crushing regular ice to make water. So I had to separate my oxygen and water system. So we have the ice crusher here and it just vents the pressure it creates into the atmosphere. Over here I have oxygen, which is just pulling it out of the atmosphere because again, I live on Mars, man. Inside it's just governed by that same circuit we did all day because it's the simplest circuit I know how to set up that'll compare two values to control a unit. But then as I built it over and over again all day, I kept changing the wiring till I ended up with this. You guys want to look at everything blown up before we go? I made a save. I don't know exactly what went wrong here, but it went very, very wrong. Like it just took out everything. Wreckage. I assume it started here because this is where most of the damage is. Um, like it just, it wiped out the whole thing. That one might still be good. Well, yeah, look, this one hydroponics station made it. Weird, right? <laughs> so that's why we did simple logic today. You know what? I think the main... I think the main base might be fine. It kind of just... Oh, it really ripped through here. Oh, uh, you know what? This might be what exploded. I just... I don't know why it exploded, man. I don't get it. It's not like a big deal. Like I have multiple saves, but the part that's disappointing is I didn't get to see it. Like we didn't get this on camera because I bet you this was cool AF. That's today's video. I hope that was entertaining or helpful or something. I don't know. Next week we might do genetics with the plants and make some monsters or something. Or we might do some IC10 coding. We'll see. I don't know. You have a good day. Thank you for watching. Not all gamers are pro.